Hi, this is Darren Moore for CAD Microsystems here to talk to you about batch plot with AutoCAD. Here we have a typical floor plan drawing. Um, I've got four layouts at the bottom left corner of my interface. I'll switch to one of the layouts by left clicking, in this case first floor plan. I'm going to save the drawing even though I haven't done anything yet to you know, make changes, I'm going to save the drawing. Uh, when you use the batch plot command, you have an option to save the, ba the, the batch plot list, um, but only if you save the drawing before you start the ba batch plot command. So it's always a good idea to hit save before you start batch plot, or publish, also called publish. Now I'll open up the application menu, hover over the print option, which gives me a submenu. Second option from the top is batch plot. I'll left click batch plot, brings up this dialog box that will have in the file window all the layouts and model space environments that are currently active in this AutoCAD. So I currently have one drawing open in my AutoCAD. It has one model, like all drawings have one model environment, but it also has four layout tabs. I'm going to remove the model, assuming the model has not been set up to print. Left click model, and then above the file name window, I've got a little minus sign this button is called Remove Sheets. I'll remove that sheet. But let's say I want to add one more drawing. I'll click the Add Sheet button, left click Add Sheet, and I'm going to navigate to a folder that's fairly uh, remotely located on my network. And this file is called Site M. I'll open this up. And again, it brings with it its model environment. So I don't want the model. I'll select the model and then click Remove Sheet. But let's say I want that site plan to be the first uh, printed file in this publish, this batch plot. I'll select it and use the Move Up button. And I'll move this to the top. And there we have it. So now I've got my layout tabs loaded into batch plot or publish. I've got them in the proper order. I removed all of the um, uh, model environments. Now I have some options what I can publish to. I can publish to a PDF, which is what I'll do in this example, but I can also publish to the plotter named in the page setup. All five of these files could be pointing to a different plotter, have different files named in their page setups, and it will uh, batch plot will plot to those different uh, plotters. Or if I had one plotter for site M, and I wanted to share that page setup am amongst all these files. I can shift select all of these, open up the page setup at the top, and then click the page setup that I want to use. In this example, though, I want to print a PDF. I've got PDF selected. I'll go ahead and click Publish. The command asks me where do I want to save this. My documents is fine. What I want to call it, Architectural M PDF is fine. I'll click Save. And now it's asking me, do, do I want to save a list of these sheets? Assuming I spent a lot of time and effort gathering all these sheets, I might want to save that list. So I'll say yes. Then I can call it up later on and not have to gather the sheets manually. I'll click Save. And then the Publish command will get to work. It'll tell me it's publishing in the background, which is going to allow me to get back to work and um, not have to wait for the print process to finish. In the lower right corner on the status bar, you'll see a little animated printer or plotter uh, chugging along, and it is creating. It's letting me know uh, when these files are being created. When the files have been created, when the published file is complete, it'll give me a bubble indicating that uh, the plot and publish job is complete, and hopefully no errors will have been found. In the meantime, I'll click Close. And I won't make you wait until this, this page comes up, but that's how you use the batch plot command. So again, I'm Darren Moore for CAD Micro. Thanks for watching.